Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Pimp Your Laptop. I'm sorry it took so long to do but um, this time uh, I will be using a screen recorder so you'll be able to follow uh, things on the screen better. And also um, today's uh, episode will be more advanced. I don't know if I can fit this in 10 minutes but I'll try. In uh, the last episode I promised uh, I will be talking more about drivers. So let's do a quick and dirty something about drivers first of all uh, I didn't uh, mention where you can get drivers from um, uh, for um, RT video cards someone pointed that out but since my laptop with RT is at home I can't really tell you exactly but uh, I know a few sites where you can get also get drivers for your RT video card for your laptop first off you can uh, simply grab the manufacturer drivers but I bet you weren't interested with that so uh, first thing you will do is download download the official Catalyst drivers and then you will go to driverheaven.net and download the mobility modder what this program does is um, modify uh, stock Catalyst drivers to work with mobile chips so you can always uh, enjoy the benefits of, your, of the latest drivers on your laptop. Now, um, I won't be talking about where to download drivers anymore because I will leave that up to your googling skills. Uh, today I want to touch a more advanced subject which is DPC latency. So, uh, now that uh, I've started talking about this, I will show you a few things you can uh, use to determine DPC latency. See, it says here that this machine should be able to handle real-time streaming with no problems, but the truth is that it does not. Now, I will be showing you how to detect uh, even the most uh, low level of DPC latency spikes you will be using uh, for this the Microsoft Windows Performance Toolkit now you will just download that from Microsoft site for your specific version of Windows one of them is XPerf to use it you will need to get the command prompt open uh, switch to desktop so that you can see the files easily and uh, you will want to do this you type in xperf bash on latency hit enter xperf should start what xperf does is collect performance data leave this running and do your, some regular things such as listen to music I don't know if I'll be able to catch it but uh, but the audio stutters really often I don't know if you can hear it but anyway see for that so once you thought you got the, the spikes captured, you stop xperf and tell it to save the file by typing in xperf d merged dot etl. Hit enter and wait for a second. And xperf will save the file. Double click the file. and the Windows Performance Analyzer should open which will enable you to check the file now this shows CPU performance, this shows CPU idle states but we're not interested in any of this scroll down lower and 
you'll see something called DPC CPU usage. You see these spikes over here? Well, a DPC spike longer than um, a few milliseconds will most definitely cause your audio to stutter. So, normal DPC activity is like under 3%, look at these here, but you see these spikes here? When those occur, your audio will stutter. So, to determine what is wrong with them, you select a portion, right click on it, click zoom to selection, we see the spike here clearly, select the spike, right click and hit summary table. Now another window will open, telling you some file names. As you can see here, dxgkernel.sys, it is the DirectX kernel so, and it has a 31 millisecond duration which obviously um, started your audio. Now, uh, since it's DirectX it must have something to do with video. I've been searching for the um, root of the issue for very long and uh, I only found it just now. It is the NVIDIA Power Miser which uh, has the purpose of uh, saving your battery by downloading the GPU has the nasty habit of taking way too much time to tell the video card to slow down so it makes your sound uh, uh, do all kinds of nasty things to disable the NVIDIA Power Miser you will have to run the registry editor so the key you will need to edit is in HQ local machine, system, current control set, control, now scroll all the way down to video and in video you will have a few keys, there will be NVIDIA specific, so what you will do here, if you can't find it, is hit control F and look for display, hit find next and there you go, it found. So, so now in here, you will scroll down. As you can see, there are many game profiles defined so that the NVIDIA card can run them optimally. Okay, found. Here, in um, this key, you will have to double click perf level SRC. It will be hit to, uh, it will be set to 3333 by default, which means enable power miser on battery and on AC. which disables power miser on AC power but keeps it enabled on battery so you can enjoy maximum battery life uh, I did that because I don't really listen to music on my laptop when I'm running on the batteries and if you set that thing to 2222 it will disable power miser on both AC and battery now I will just plug the laptop in so now we will run xperf again Open the new file and let's go to DPC again. As you can see, there are a few more spikes, but the scale has totally changed. As you can see, it never goes higher than 2%, so this pretty much indicates normal activity. The scale of activity is much lower, there are no more spikes that go over 3%, so no more uh, audio starters. I hope this has helped you. Keep this in mind. And uh, for you with ATI laptops, like my other one, you're lucky. as nothing bad happens with them.